Hey guys, Darwin here. So, recently on my lace swing tutorial, the first part, a user that goes by the name of By7Alt has commented that he's been wondering if you could create custom channels which the player can join only if they know the name of that channel. So they would have a separate edit box just like I did here. And uh, if you put the correct channel name, then you would see more players. So, uh, yes, you can do that. It's actually super simple, and I'll show you how. So, let me just walk you through what I did. So, I have created the, the, the swing application again for the simple reason that I didn't save the part one application. You never saw me in the video save it anywhere. Um, but uh, I created a new one, so I try to make it look as similar as possible. Same thing, with uh, some exceptions, I have to some things, like the start of frame, which I'll explain what does, what it does. And in the main, I changed absolutely nothing. It's the, literally the same as the old one, except maybe the position here is different. But really, that's kind of... So yeah. Now, um, we will uh, go in this, and I'll show you what I did. So first of all, I believe I forgot to remove the menu bar, which I'll just do that real quick. Yeah, I see. I forgot to do that. Because I've been testing this before to make sure it works before I did the video. So let's let me show you what I did. So I literally just cloned the name object. So right click clone. And it created this object, which was named name2, but I've right click renamed it to channel. And I've moved it a bit lower so you can see it. Then what I did is I went in the event editor and at the start of the frame I created a new in, a new condition I right click insert a new event and added the start of frame so right click insert a new event and right click start a frame here and all I did is I set the name uh, the name boxes text to username and the channel boxes name to channel name so if I run the application you'll see it changes this to username and channel name, so you know which is which, right? So, again, always I set the text to the edit text of name, and here I set the text of the edit text to channel, so right-click, alterable strings, set, text, and then I right-click the channel object, so not the name object, right-click, and I got the text, so like this. And uh, that's all I did. Then I went in where it says on the name set and in here I simply join the channel which is called text of the channel which you just said the alterable string here so just get its text and plus which means you would add onto this text this string which is really just an underscore and one two three it's just random numbers why did I do this you could add per se underscore uh, your game or something or anything because what you're trying to do is make sure that you do not somehow overlap so the user does, does not somehow set back the name of the channel to something that a different game uses so uh, I've, I've added this giant huge string which will definitely not repeat anytime soon um, you could make it longer you can make it shorter whatever you want but just make sure it does not repeat right uh, you could use a prime number if you really, 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 really wanted to. Because it's very random. Now, that's the channel name. And that's that's all I did to this application. Uh, I've also changed that if creating hide the channel from SDS yes, and also close the channel automatically. I, did, I don't think I closed the channel automatically in my previous tutorial, but here I did. Because if you create a lot of channels, I want you to close them if no one's on them. Alright, so I've saved this. Everything else is the same. Nothing in main has changed. Everything else in here is the same. I'll save this and I'll go over text testing. All right, so let's build the application. Multiplayer exe already exists, of course, because I've been testing this. Avast will scan it, as you've seen in my previous tutorial. Nothing to worry about. Let it do its thing. That's, again, perfectly fine.
So, uh, the reason why this works so well is because they swing when it when it opens channels, it it also opens and closes them automatically. So you don't have to do like some complicated procedure to start them. Uh, I'll also probably make a tutorial on how to create a list of the channels that currently exist, but that's for another time. Um, though I do believe it would add the channels which are also um, part of a different game, but I, I think I have a different method for that. Uh, if you want a short idea, is just add a random number behind the the lace swing channel name. So the same way I added plus and underscore one two whatever. You could just add a number first, then plus the channel name and then the um the um you know numbers again. Alright, so let's just um change these values. Uh, another thing I would like to note, I don't think you could use the same usernames even if you're on different channels because the name is set before you join the channel. Of course there's a way to, to fix that. You could either set the username to username and add a random random character of strings which would hopefully not repeat that's not very reliable it could work for testing though or you could um, just set user so set the username to username and underscore and add another and add maybe the channel name after it uh, without the one two whatever you could just add minus and quote and underscore one two so it removes it from the end and I would also, when I display the the username, I would remove the uh, end part the same way with the minus and the quote. All right, so let's just not say the usernames to be the same for now or uh, same uh, even if on different channels. So let's begin with giving these guys some names. Let's call this guy Darv. So this guy, this guy will join the channel. Um, ASDF, right? Then the next person will be named GHGI, and uh, he would also join ASDF. Then this guy will be named uh, JLIK, or really anything, and he'll join the channel uh, this time BNMV. And let's call this guy uh, UTYY. So I'm just picking random names. And the channel will also be BNMV. So, so these two guys will join the same channel, and these guys will join a different channel, but the same for them. So let's connect. So he's connected. Seems that everything's been working. Let's also connect GHGI. So here he goes. He's connected. All seems to work. Let's move him a bit further. Let's also move again far corner or something. So let's join with JL. IK. So if he joins, you see it does not appear here and nothing appears for him. And if UTYI joins, it only appears for them. So now you have two separate channels. The players can insert their usernames. If one leaves here, nothing changes here. If one leaves here, nothing changes here. Uh, there was a little bug and I know why that happened because I recreated the thing and I forgot to add on disconnect. Uh, but that's my fault. So um, that's, that's it really. There's nothing you have to change. That's kind of it. Um, of course, I do suggest that where it says join the channel, you do you you do not I don't recommend you close it, but because if you want to have like a multiplayer game which automatically joins the lobby, then I guess you would use that. Or if one player disconnects, the entire game stops. I've done those kinds of games before, so uh, you know this is a specific thing. I, I personally set to zero. I set it to one to show you that it would still work. Uh, it's what caused the bug because if the if the um, if not Dar would have disconnected, if the other guy would have, uh, then it would have been updated. But because the first guy left, uh, the channel closed. But yeah, you don't have to do this necessarily um, because if no one's on the if no one's on the channel, it wouldn't really matter. So that's all I did. Um, I hope this helped. If you have uh, questions again just add them in the comment of this video uh, if it's regarding this if you have different questions or something add them in the main video comments uh, thank you for watching and thank you for suggesting uh, this uh, question and I'll see you in the next video